know cancer is welcome to your general love reading this reading is going to cover february 15th through march 15th and this is going to apply to cancer sun moon rising and venus signs okay and go ahead and comment your birthday in the comments section represent the cancer gang and see if you can find your birthday twin also if you're on instagram please follow me there and last but not least, if this reading resonates with you in any way or brings you any, you know, clarity into your love life and I was able to really tap into your energy, then please support the channel, show your love, like and subscribe, and hopefully I can continue to bring you guys readings that really resonate for you, okay? So let's get into it. We're going to look into the energy of you, uh, your person, and the energy of the union between the two of you, okay? So this person could be someone you're dating. Um, it could be an ex, it could be someone you're married to, whoever that person that you're thinking about right now, okay? Hone in on that energy, so let's try to pick up on it. Okay, so what can you tell me for Cancers? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What can you tell me for Cancers when it comes to your love life with this person? You have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And then you have codependencies. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, it looks like here someone is questioning whether they want to um, open up their heart more or express how they feel more. Because the other person, I feel like, is going through some sort of codependency. This could be with a person, you know, someone in their life. Um, this could be literally something that they're, you know, battling with could be an addiction. But let's find out. So then you have the past life relationship. You've known each other before. So this person that you're dealing with cancer, you've known each other from the past. Um, this could be an ex, or it just could be someone that you've had, um, you know, relations, relationships with in the past, or you've just known each other before. So this is not a new person in your life. It's, wow. You have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So you see, you guys have known each other before and you've already met the partner you seek. So this person we're talking about here, this is not someone new. This is someone you've known for a while or, you know, someone you've already had history with. What else can you tell me about this union? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So let's put that on this side. Um, this could be your energy or your person's energy, but someone needs to stay optimistic and continue to express their love for the other person. Um, I feel like maybe someone, um, let's move this, because I feel like there's some codependency here maybe on your side. Either you or the other person is having issues with uh, seeing something positive in the relationship because of this codependency. Let's clarify it. Let's clarify codependency. Who is codependent here? Who has some sort of codependency? This could talk about an ex, you know, someone with kids, you know, someone has like a codependency. They have a relationship in their life that they just can't cut the ties on. All right, let's see. What is this codependency, please? The world card. So having to do with closure, ending a chapter. Ending a chapter with someone. So someone's ending a chapter here. This could either be you, Cancer, or the person you're dealing with. But someone is, is trying to get out of a codependent situation here with someone else. You have the moon card. It could be a Pisces. You have two major arcanas already. Whatever this codependency is, I feel like they're trying to get out of a place of confusion. Someone is not able to see, like the light at the end of the tunnel, like just trying to see how to get out of a codependent, you know, relationship. They just want to start over. Someone wants to start over here. So this could be either you or the person you're dealing with. All right, Cancer, so let's keep going with the Romance Angel set. Let's get some more information about what's happening between the two of you. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I feel like you and your person could be going away on a trip right or this could be saying just to enjoy the good times that you guys are having right now don't worry about all of the confusion and the doubt and the worry and how to put an end to something enjoy the time that you guys have now stay optimistic about the future 
happy relationship, okay? Um, let's get another one. You have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. <laughs> With the world card here, right? Disconnect from the, you know, your worldly responsibilities. I feel strongly like you and your person could be taking a trip. Um, or planning on doing something together. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be a big trip. It could be like a weekend getaway. Um, you just want to disconnect from all the responsibilities. I feel like someone has a lot of heavy responsibilities with the world card. It says disconnect from the world, which is crazy because of the codependency card here. And then the world card clarifying it and it's saying it's time to disconnect from the world. So disconnect from this person, put an end to something. Take some time with one another to enjoy each other's company, enjoy the bliss of being together. What's some more messages you have for Cancer about their love life? What's some more messages for Cancer about their love life? Whoa, lots of cards coming out. Let's do that again. Let's give me a message for Cancer. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So someone is being told here, this is not you, Cancer, this is the other person. It's telling them to stay optimistic, continue to express your love. It also says it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to receive and give the highest energy of all. So whoever is the person that is doubtful about the relationship, it's the universe is saying, stay optimistic, don't worry, it's safe for you to love this person. Uh, this person could definitely be the one here for you. And... I feel like you guys are coming up upon a time where you're going to be enjoying each other's company. It's going to be really nice to just get away. I keep hearing like a getaway. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Let's put that on this side here. Someone's going to be having an honest, open discussion with somebody. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Let's put this here and clarify it. So everyone's been getting that. Pay attention to the red flags, the trust card. Please clarify this red flag. What is this red flag? What is this red flag? Too many cards, but let's do it again. Can I get one card, please, to clarify the red flag? The king of swords. So this is a person. Or this is, again, talking about conversations because you have the... The sword there, which is about communication, talks. You have the moon card here again. Which talks about things, things in the dark. I feel like someone needs to have an honest discussion with somebody. Could be about this connection that they're making. There's going to be communication or a need to communicate this month about something. Let's do one card, please. One card, please. This is why I pay attention to the red flags. Getting a lot of air energy. This could be about a Gemini, Knight of Pentacles. Discussing something with someone. Discussing a new direction. I feel like for some of you Cancers, if it's not you, it's the other person. You guys are leaving someone behind. You're disconnecting from them and you're moving in a different direction and you need to communicate that with them for some reason. Um, there's going to be a, t a time where you guys are going to have an open discussion about it. Um, and messages will be delivered about plans. The Empress card. I feel like this is how, either how you see this person or this person sees you, but someone is moving towards something that they feel is very abundant, very beautiful, very um, promising, and leaving something else behind in the past. Can I get more cards for Cancer? Let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right, sorry about the background noise. So you have the let go of control issues card. So this is, like I'm saying, whichever side resonates mostly with you. You're the person who's trying to get out of a situation and you need to communicate to this person that you're leaving. Um, 
then this is the column that, that you resonate with. This is your energy. And this is the other person. Or if you resonate more with this side, okay? But someone needs to let go of some sort of control issues. Um, I feel like there is like third party energy here. Um, someone is waiting to see how the situation is going to pan out. And it's saying to allow the situation to happen in divine timing or, or, or naturally. Don't try to push it. Um, give this relationship a chance. It's safe for you to love them and stay optimistic about what's going to be happening in the near future. Can I get one more card? And then we're going to move on to a different deck. Unrequited love. There is not a lot of attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So this is this person here. They are leaving something behind. They're no longer in love. They're moving towards something else, something more promising, something more beautiful in their mind than what they're currently in. Let's use the Gypsy Oracle deck to get further clarity on the situation. What are some additional energies or messages? And some additional messages. Despair. Oof. That is a rough card. Someone is stressing. Despair. That's a really heavy energy right there. Someone is, you know, stressing about doing this. Or this is... I feel like there is, someone's being left for someone else, you know, and someone feels tormented about speaking on it. You have the soldier card here. I feel like someone's fighting for what it is that they want. And the thief. There's definitely some sneaking around going on here with the moon card, you know. Something's, something needs to come to light. There's a lot of sneaking around here uh, in this energy cancer where I feel like you could be in a relationship already, but it's 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 on the way out. It's over. It's unrequited love. Um, you're leaving someone behind. You could be leaving an air sign behind and moving towards an earth sign. Um, but you're switching directions. Switching directions because you're no longer in love. And you found someone that you think could be the one for you. Faithfulness. You're very loyal to this person. Or this person is very faithful to you because I feel like they're just waiting. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from here. It's almost like not calling you or the other person a dog, but like, you know, like a dog is just will just wait on you, like you know, just waiting patiently for you to come home from work or something like that. Like, they're, they're, they're waiting there. They're being faithful to you. They understand you're in a, a tricky situation here, but they're waiting patiently and, and, and lovingly for the outcome. Okay? For the time for you guys to be together. That's what I get. So they're not losing their interest in you. Yes, they're, they're questioning it a little bit. They're starting to get worried. But they're, they're still there. They're still in your life. Wow, Cancers. <laughs> Very interesting. So that is going to be a general reading. Take what resonates. If you want to book a private reading with me, there's a link in my description where you can do that. And I will get back to you within 24 hours to get your information. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, Cancer.